So here it is, the Onyx Book Tab C. The first impressions are really good. The screen seems like the whole piece, the whole device seems quite solid. Let's power it up. And here it is. So let me first turn off the light because it automatically turns off the front light. Well, the first impressions are surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, but they're really good. I was a bit afraid looking at reviews online and, fir and first impressions online that the um, background would be quite dark, but it's not too dark. Admittedly, I'm in well-lit room. There is bright sunlight coming, uh, shining through the window, but it's not too dark. And the colors are a really nice addition to the home screen. It makes it pop more. Uh, let's see if I go to the Play Store. Okay. Uh, there's an app tutorial, balance mode, deep eye setting, yes. Color enhancement, and yes, all the books, usual features. I will quickly sign in into Google Play and into the Wi Fi, and then I will be back. I'm now back and connected to my Wi Fi and to the Google Play Store, and <laughs> the first impressions are really really good I actually I don't mind the dark background as much I, as I thought I would based on the comments online uh, the colors are pastel like but they are very pleasing to the eye um, I don't know which mode I'm in I'm in balance mode and the speed is remarkable, <laughs> uh, pun not intended, and the ghosting is, mm, isn't is disturbing. If I go into a f the ultra-fast mode, then the tablet is extremely responsive and there's a little bit of more ghosting, but it's e-ink, It's that's what you get with e-ink, but the colors it's so nice to have colors on an e-ink panel. It's my first colored e-ink panel. And so far, so good. Let me go back to uh, the homepage. And in the meantime, I also loaded a few books. Here, The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. And you can see, even so I don't have the, um, the background, the, the light turned on. But if I do, the colors are a bit better. You can see a little bit better everything. But even without it, I I don't mind. You can see there were highlights in this book that are now in yellow. It really helps to make these highlights pop. You can see here there's a green highlight compared to a yellow highlight. Um, let's see if I try to highlight something. It's in black by default. I guess this is, no, this is a type. Oh, okay. Let me select this type of highlights and then I can change the color. And here we have a sort of red pastel. And without the front light, this is what it looks like. What I see on the screen is quite similar as how I see it in real life. So this is for the desk. The, the text is incredibly sharp. It's really pleasing to the eye. And now let me check a comic book. This is quite dark. Uh, do you want to perform? No, I do not want to perform that. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's go to a page where there's more. Oh, okay, sorry, it's a black and white uh, comic book. There's, there are no colors, but as you can see, I can go through the page, pages quite fast. Um, let's go to the home page and open Reddit, new browser. Let me just, okay, go Reddit. Continue. So here is Reddit. And as you can see, the um, in balance mode, the scrolling is already smooth. But if you go in ultra fast mode, the screen is so responsive. It's the most responsive eing device that I've ever used for sure. I have an eing phone. I have the I had the first Books Max. I have the Books Note Air 2. So I've used quite a, a lot of eing devices. I've also used the Kobo and this is the most enjoyable eing device I've had in my hands based on these few minutes uh, so far. Let me go uh, here. There is a video apparently. It's loading. I think the, there's a problem with the video. Okay. So this video is not working. Um, let me go on YouTube. I'm still in ultra fast mode. The colors look a bit weird at some times. Um, they're definitely mm, pastel-like, as books describe it. Um, but I, I wouldn't say they're accurate. It's not like a pastel, accurate version of the real colors. There is some... There is definitely some changes in the colors. So you see color, but it's not just a less saturated version of the real colors. I don't know if I, oops, sorry for that. I will just check the dark enhancement, whether that changes anything, vividness enhancement. Doesn't do much color brightness. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but let me go back to HD mode. The EG mod is definitely um, not necessary at all times. Yes, the colors and the text is a bit crisper, but... And the screen is still surprisingly responsive when scrolling. So now let go, let's go into video. So please note that um, e-ink was not designed to watch to watch videos, but this experience so far, the videos are it, it's good enough to watch videos. So here the video finally started, and if you don't, if you're not watching something um, that requires um, accurate description, ac accurate, accurate visual representation of what you're watching, then this is a great consumption device for uh, educational videos, for example, or videos such as Mr. Beast's uh, videos, perhaps, if you want to have a few minutes of fun. Um, for sure, you're not enjoying all uh, the high definition um, the, you're not enjoying the high-definition product, 
but it's enjoyable and I definitely could see myself um, using this device to watching videos, especially podcasts or interviews or tutorials. Let's stop this and just have a look at the um, note-taking experience and then I will stop here as a first impression video. Notes. Create notepad. So far so good, seems as responsive, as responsive if not more than the books tap, uh, no, the books Air 2 that I have. Yep, I really, really like it. Let's switch to some color. That's really nice. <laughs> I I know now that I will enjoy writing on this so much more um, for my daily notes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna love this device, and I think so. The note taking seems fast even more responsive than the previous generations, probably because of the G integrated GPU in this device. Um, there was one last thing I wanted to have a quick look at. And it's the keyboard case. Let me just... Okay, so it fits into place. Okay. Well, okay, this is a bit <laughs> annoying. Voila. I will turn on the front light. And I will go into the notes section, create a text note. And just Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so with the um, keyboard attached, it's very responsive. This is a very responsive typing experience. So yeah, this this is where I will uh, stop this first impressions video uh, video. I'm I'm surprised of how much I already like this device. Um, let me grab. So here, if I grab the Note Air 2 and I turn off the front light, you can see that if you compare it to the Note Air 2, the Tab C is significantly darker but if you only see this um, ink device I um, it's less it's less annoying it becomes annoying if you compare it to what you had in previous black and white um, devices but as a standalone device the contrast is still good enough to read the screen is Char uh, in black and white is uh, sharper than, uh, for example, the Note Air 2. And the addition of the colors makes it a much more fun and entertaining device to interact with. And also more useful because there's definitely uh, information that gets lost when you only use a black and white device. And for example, it's really easy to spot the Google Play Store and recognize different apps based on the colors, but I I could always see myself maybe code on this device, use it as an external screen, 
and watch some educational videos with it. Yeah, very, very uh, good first impressions. I'm really impressed. Stay tuned for a full review. I will compare it. I will go through all the features. I will compare it to the Note R2. I will also compare it to the first generation uh, Books Max. And I will make um, screen uh, comparison. So using each tablet as an external screen for, uh, for my PC. Thanks for watching and see you for the next video. Stay tuned.